Welcome again, dear travelers, to a new video. We hope that you have enjoyed the last trip we all took to the country of France, in which we mentioned the most prominent defects and problems that will bother you when going to France. We also mentioned the best cities and places that you can visit and get to know in case you are visiting this country. Therefore, in this video, we will talk about the second destination that broke the global ranking of tourists, which came after France. We will talk about the most important reasons and the best places and cities that you can visit and go to in this country. And we will discuss together the problems and challenges that can hinder you inside this country. So do not forget to press the like button and subscribe to the channel to give us energy and motivate us to provide more. So let's start the video. Today's episode, we will talk about Spain. So let us give you a simple introduction if you do not know anything about Spain. Spain is a European country located on the Iberian Peninsula and comprising 17 autonomous regions with diverse geography and cultures. Madrid, the capital, is home to the Royal Palace and the Prado Museum, where the works of European artists are exhibited. In Segovia, you can admire a medieval castle, the Alcazar, and an intact Roman aqueduct. The capital of Catalonia, Barcelona, is characterized by the modernist monuments of Antony Gaudí, notably the Sagrada Familia. Therefore, we will delve deeper into this country to learn about its culture and the best places we can visit in Spain. You know that Spain is the second most visited country in the world? Yes, it is ranked second in the world. I will let you take a look. Stay alert with us. So we suggest that you bring your drink with you, because you will be shocked by some things if you do not know them. Spain is a very distinctive country, where there are many natural landscapes and quiet beaches, in addition to wonderful traditional cuisine, with distinctive buildings, a history full of ancient civilization, and elaborate architecture. And here we will present to you some of the reasons that make you keen to visit Spain, at least once in your life. Did you know that the Spanish language is the second most spoken language in the world? Whereas India and China are only surpassed by their population size, which exceeds your imagination, which led the Spanish language to rank fourth globally, I will let you take a look. For today, I will give you a list of reasons that motivate you to visit Spain. The first is the beautiful landscape. In addition to the fact that Spain is famous for its distinctive beaches, sunny climate, and calm atmosphere, it is also a country of stunning landscapes and towering mountains in the north and south. Spain is the only country in Europe that contains a desert, and it is very famous. Dozens of Hollywood films were filmed in the Spanish desert. This is a reason why you should visit Spain. Secondly, adventures that raise adrenaline. In Spain, there is one of the most wonderful pedestrian paths in the world, extending between Spain and Portugal. So if you are an adventure lover and a fan of skiing, snowboarding, diving, and very long walks, then Spain is a distinctive choice. In fact, you will feel a high level of adrenaline as you walk. Wonderful adventures while visiting Spain. Third, distinctive Spanish food. In fact, you should not deprive yourself of trying delicious Spanish food you will discover that you were deprived of tasting delicious food and experiencing a distinctive experience in the world of Spanish food, especially seafood, delicious fruits, and fresh vegetables. We will also not forget the long history and ancient civilization. The history of Spain is a long history, and each of its stages left traces and buildings in Spain, as Spain was a great power. The Cordoba Mosque is one of the best examples of the grandeur of ancient architecture. When you visit Córdoba, you will discover how the Spanish state ruled Spain, and you will experience a lot of beautiful history. There are also many distinctive historical monuments, such as the Alhambra Palace. Another strong reason that drives you to visit this country is the picturesque natural islands, as Spain is home to beautiful natural islands. There you will see volcanic landscapes, and you will experience tranquility in the Canary Islands, where the streets there are paved with sand, and the weather is wonderful and very enjoyable, and also the people there are very wonderful, and you will spend with them a beautiful memories. The 
The thing that does not leave Spain is the abundance of celebrations, festivals, and exhibitions. There are many and varied festivals, so whatever your interest, you will find Spain's exhibitions and festivals waiting for you. If you are interested in agriculture, you will find the Agriculture Exhibition in Spain. If you are an entrepreneur and owner of industrial companies, or interested in the process of waste recycling, you will find the International Exhibition for Waste Recycling and Management. Another reason is the beautiful beaches. Spain has approximately 5,000 kilometers, 3,107 miles of coastline and contains the most beautiful beaches in the world. And it also has five of the best beaches in Europe. This is a special reason why you should visit Spain, especially in the summer. This is directly related to its wonderful weather. Spain is located in southern Europe, which distinguishes it with long summers and wonderful weather throughout the year. For anyone who wants to enjoy the golden rays of the sun, Spain is the perfect choice. Let me give you some information. If you love fashion in terms of homes and living, then I will tell you that you will not like this country, and that is due to the architecture. In Spain, there are buildings with distinctive architecture, old, simple, and traditional, such as the Gothic Cathedral in Seville, the Guggenheim Museum, and other Spanish museums. The last reason that drives many people to visit is to watch football by visiting Spain. Spain is a country of football, and football is the country's distinctive national sport. As we know, Spain is the country of the two best teams in the world, Real Madrid and FC Barcelona, which are two teams that have the most famous players in the world. So your visit to Spain will allow you to watch a football match in Santiago, Bernabeu in Madrid, or Camp Nou in Barcelona. Therefore, now I will make your business easier for you, and I will give you the best cities that you will thank me if you visit them in Spain. And this is because you will enjoy a unique experience within these cities. We'll start with Barcelona, famous for its unique architecture, including the iconic Sagrada Familia and Parque Güell. Barcelona offers a vibrant cultural scene, beautiful beaches, and delicious cuisine. Madrid, the capital city of Spain, Madrid boasts world-class museums like the Prado and Reina Sofia, stunning architecture, lively plazas, and an exciting nightlife. Seville. Known for its rich Moorish heritage, Seville is home to the Alcazar Palace Complex, the Giralda Tower, and the Grand Cathedral of Seville. Its flamenco dancing and delicious tapas add to its allure. Granada. The city of Granada is famous for the magnificent Alhambra Palace, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, as well as the charming Albaicín neighborhood and the Sierra Nevada Mountains nearby. Valencia. Located on the Mediterranean coast, Valencia offers a beautiful mix of old and new, with attractions such as the futuristic City of Arts and Sciences, the historic Valencia Cathedral, and the vibrant Central Market. Bilbao. Known for the Guggenheim Museum, which is a masterpiece of contemporary architecture, Bilbao also offers a charming old town, delicious Basque cuisine, and nearby natural beauty in the Basque countryside. Toledo. A UNESCO World Heritage Site, Toledo is known as the City of Three Cultures due to its historical coexistence of Christian, Muslim, and Jewish communities. Its medieval architecture and rich cultural heritage make it a fascinating destination. Salamanca. Famous for its prestigious university, Salamanca is adorned with stunning Renaissance architecture, including the Plaza Mayor and the University of Salamanca, making it one of the most beautiful cities in Spain. Cordoba. Cordoba's star attraction is the mesmerizing Mesquita, a former mosque turned cathedral, showcasing stunning Moorish architecture. The city also boasts charming narrow streets, flower-filled patios, and a rich culinary scene. San Sebastian. Known for its picturesque beaches, world-renowned cuisine, 
and charming old town, San Sebastian is a culinary paradise and a popular destination for food lovers from around the world. These are just a few of the highlights, and there are many cities and towns in Spain such as Malaga, Cartagena, Andalusia, and Almeria that are worth exploring, each offering their own unique experiences and attractions. By mentioning all these beautiful things and wonderful cities, we will not forget the challenges and problems that you can face if you want to visit this country or live in it. While offers many advantages such as a pleasant climate, rich cultural heritage, and delicious cuisine, there are also some disadvantages to consider when it comes to living in the country. It is true that joy fills the streets of this country, but we must not close our eyes to problems and difficulties so as not to give illusions to the people. This is why we will mention the first thing that Spain suffers from, which is high unemployment rate. Spain has struggled with high unemployment rates, particularly among young people. This can make finding stable employment challenging, especially in certain sectors and regions. And bureaucracy. Dealing with bureaucracy and administrative procedures can be cumbersome and time-consuming in Spain, which may frustrate newcomers to the country. I noticed that a group of European countries suffer from this problem. Also, economic challenges. Spain faced economic challenges in recent years, including the effects of the global financial crisis and the COVID-19 pandemic. This has led to austerity measures, budget cuts, and economic uncertainty for some residents. Language barrier. While Spanish is the official language, not everyone in Spain speaks English fluently. I noticed this phenomenon a lot, as the Spanish people are very convinced only of their language and do not have the curiosity to learn other languages. This problem made me very angry, as I found many difficulties in dealing with the Spaniards, even though they are very nice. Language barriers can make it difficult for expatriates to communicate effectively, especially if they do not speak Spanish. Also, cost of living, like many European countries, include France, which we talked about in the previous episode, but the cost of living in Spain can vary depending on the region. Certain cities like Madrid and Barcelona can be quite expensive, particularly in terms of housing and utilities. Healthcare system challenges. While Spain has a universal healthcare system that provides coverage to residents, there can be long wait times for certain medical procedures and appointments, particularly in public hospitals. Seasonal unemployment. Some regions of Spain rely heavily on seasonal industries such as tourism, which can lead to periods of unemployment or underemployment during the off season. Traffic and transportation. Major cities in Spain, such as Madrid and Barcelona, can experience heavy traffic congestion, and public transportation systems may not always be reliable or efficient, especially in rural areas. Political instability. Like many countries, Spain has experienced political instability and polarization in recent years, which can contribute to social tension and uncertainty about the future direction of the country. Cultural adjustment. While Spain's vibrant culture and lifestyle can be appealing, adjusting to cultural differences such as mealtimes, work-life balance, and social customs may take time for expatriates. Despite these disadvantages, many people find Spain to be a welcoming and rewarding place to live, with its laid-back lifestyle, beautiful landscapes, and rich cultural heritage. We always advise our followers to make the appropriate decision choose the appropriate time, and set the appropriate budget to enjoy the best quality of the trips you will take. It's essential to weigh the pros and cons carefully and consider personal priorities when deciding whether to live in Spain. This was today's episode, so do not forget to share your opinion with us in the comments because we always care about your opinions. Also, do not forget to share the country you want us to talk about. So take care of yourselves and goodbye until the next episode.